Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I am back to talk about Expedition. Something that I've been experimenting with the whole of today, I've done a fairly decent stream, uh, but well, it wasn't the whole of today, but it was a lot of my mapping experience of today. I wanted to see just how much we could get through investing into scarabs, investing into the atlas tree, and then seeing some returns. Uh, TLDW, too long didn't watch if you, if you want, uh, it's good. Uh, especially if you're running other content alongside it, because you can just run Expedition in your maps, chuck a Scarab in, run it, use the Expedition passives on the tree, which we'll talk about in a moment, and then generate a lot of Expedition currency and logbooks. In total, I ran about 75 maps. I'm really sorry, I don't I don't know the exact number that I run uh, ran because I didn't know that I was going to be tallying all of this, but it was about 75 maps. Now, 75 maps, for eight chaos each for the scarabs, it's about 600 uh, chaos investment. I already had a bunch of scarabs, so I didn't pay that much, but if you wanted to just buy the scarabs uh, for what I did right here, it's about 600 chaos investment. From that, I generated 13 logbooks, which I then ran, and those logbooks generated me a bunch more rerolls and everything like that, and they ended up with around about 160 Gwenon rerolls and around about 140 Tujin rerolls. I haven't even touched Rog. Now, talking about all of that with a 600 Chaos investment, with a, um, uh, yeah, with, with doing Tujin and with doing Gwenon, with the Gwenon rerolls, I did 160 and I did not get a single unique or item that was worth almost anything. So I probably made about 10 Chaos from Gwenon, which was extremely unlucky. And then with Tujin, we made a lot more. Now I'm just going to switch over to a program, program called X Silence Next right now, and we can see up the top here, this is only taking from one tab, which I'll show you in a moment, and this is the total revenue of everything in that tab. Most of this, the majority of this, is from Tujin rerolls. I got three Exalted Orbs, I got about 250 Chaos from Tujin himself, and then a bunch of other stuff right here. So if we basically convert that into the price of Exalteds right now, that's about 20 Exalteds or more worth of currency. 6x investment, 20 Exalted Orbs back, that's 14 Exalted Orbs profit, and that's not including anything that I dropped in the maps themselves, apart from, you know, the reroll currency. Just need a moment this is only, and I'll show you the tab right here, it is only the Tujin rerolls, the Gwenon rerolls, which was down here, basically these two, and what was dropped in the logbooks. That is literally what is in this. Uh, everything else that was dropped in maps, which was a lot of currency from the expeditions themselves, just went straight into my normal currency tab right there. So what I'm really trying to say is for the investment alongside everything else, expedition is, in my opinion, almost a must have if you are on the right hand side of the tree. Now, the investment is actually only two wheels as well. And I'll talk about those wheels. First of all, we have the large wheel down over here. Now this wheel has two notables, and the first one is Ancient Writings. This means remnants in the areas have a 30% chance to have an additional suffix modifier. It's not exactly a 30% more multi on rewards, but you can kind of treat it like a 30% more multi on rewards, and then you also have two extra remnants in the area. Then over here, we have Distinguished Demolitionist. This is giving you explosive radius and increased number of explosives in areas as well. This is meaning that in the maps themselves, you're basically clicking every single expedition area that you can. Uh, you know, just don't take immune to cold for someone like me who's playing a purely cold build. I've got one other node here because it's just increased ex uh, explosive placement range. More range there. Quantity of vendor refresh currencies, quantity, quantity, expedition encounter. And then right up here, we have Buried Knowledge. Now, Buried Knowledge is giving you 50% increased quantity of Expedition Logbooks dropped by Runic Monsters in areas. So you wanna be focusing on those Runic Monsters if you do want the Logbooks. And then 20% increased number of Runic Monster Markers. And then increased quantity of Artifacts and an additional chance to contain Expedition Encounter. Because I was running Scarabs, I did not take the node down here for an extra 4% chance to contain an Expedition Encounter. Because I was using Scarabs, I was guaranteed an Expedition every single map. So this really wasn't worth it at all. And honestly, I don't think it's worth it in general, unless you just want Expeditions every now and then in your maps and you don't want to invest into Scarabs, which you definitely can do. It's a great way of doing it. So all in all, uh, it's basically one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine points. Uh, obviously, you will have to travel to these areas as well, but if you're already pathing through these types of areas, then uh, you don't have to travel. Now, excuse my tree right here. It's quite bad. I've got some hanging points and everything like that here because I haven't respect everything. But uh, yeah, that's basically how it was. Extremely easy investment, extremely guaranteed returns. As I said, I did not get lucky at all. From 142 gen rerolls, I would actually say I got unlucky from only getting three exalted orbs. So being unlucky and getting a guaranteed 14 exalted orbs profit in the 75, 80 maps, whatever I ran, in my opinion, is a really strong way to make currency, uh, even if you're not zooming maps. That's all I really have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below of Expedition. If you love it, if you hate it, I don't know, let me know. And I'm going to be trying out a bunch more stuff. Rogue Exiles might be on the agenda next because they look pretty juicy from the tree. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. And until next time, Badger is out.